All right, if you're looking for the best bottle of wine for a party or just your dinner at home, why not ask a wise old dog? <laughs> Marcy Jones is live at the Wise Old Dog in Morris to show us around on this Wine Wednesday. Marcy, we understand that you guys are popping bottles already. <laughs> We are, and you know what? I'm so proud of my new friend Jacob here because there it is! We're back with Wine Wednesday after taking last week off for a very good cause. All right, so you're already pouring. That's, you're my, new, you're my new favorite. No, we're not even getting to know each other. We're just popping bottles and starting rapid fire. I love this. What do we have? This is uh, Pierre Priard Champagne. Okay. Uh, love Boozy, it. Boozy, uh, one of our favorite uh, producers uh, and something that's really lovely. Incredible. Uh, what table. sets this champagne apart from others that people may be familiar with? Uh, I mean, the obvious uh, aspect of just, you know, probably viewers at home don't recognize the label. It's a smaller right. producer. But beyond that, uh, predominantly Pinot Noir in this, even okay. though it's a white wine. So yes. it's made from red grape. But this color is really pretty. It's not the classic, you know, like super yellow. It's right. kind of got a gold, yeah. more golden hue. I love it. what you're saying. Yeah, it's, and, that, and that actually just, if you drink with your eyes first, it's just got a really... It's sort of leading you, the fruit content here is really special. It's really okay. nice and concentrated. Okay, love a fruit forward. And, Should um, we do a little cheers and then cheers. show everybody your gorgeous store? Oh, thanks. Sure do. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. And so good. It never gets old. I feel like leading with champagne. Even though we're at the wise <laughs> old dog, this will <laughs> never get old for me. Okay, so take us through. This is such, it's a stunning store. It really is. Liquor stores are great everywhere. Wine stores love you. However, this is some, this feels like an experience. Mm. You've really put a lot of detail into it. Everything is meticulously organized. Love that for you. Thank you. Tell us about your selection and how you curated it. So basically we've been in West Hartford for 12 years mm -hmm. and we have a, a great store there, a little larger. We sort of built this as a little 10th anniversary present to ourselves and our clients and our staff. And so, I would love to see what the big presents are in your family, but right? continue. <laughs> so this, yeah, it's a, it's a gut renovated uh, 1880s farmhouse. Um, okay. Sort of opened it up uh, and then leaned into this idea that you could shop in the whole house. So yes. you know, it, when you go to New York, uh, if you've ever found yourself at that beautiful flagship store of Ralph Lauren and you, and you climb the stairs and go into mm -hmm. these rooms and these galleries and of course, on a humbler scale here, but the idea was just to invite people in. Um, and it's fun. You know, people do come in and grab the bottle of vodka or, or you know, right. six pack of beer and, and they're out. Really We're not quickly. saying that you can't right. jump in and jump out. You can do that when you're in a rush. However, I would recommend planning some time to yeah, stick around. Just kind of checking it out. We tend to, you know, get people oriented and then cut them, cut them loose in the house. We'll, uh, we'll have a little snack upstairs in a little bit. Yes. In our tasting room. And it's, it's fun how it's just different enough that uh -huh. it, it knocks people off what their expectations are and they kind of lean in on right. checking it out. But then again, it's, you know, it's comfortable and uh, the selection is The uh, colors, really the boutique. decor, yeah. I love how it's definitely that farmhouse chic, but also you feel a little provincial. Well, thank you. Yes. A, yes. Doesn't, doesn't hurt have a little Frenchy <laughs> cafe music on this one. No, not at all. This is fantastic. Now, I am already feeling the bubbles oh for me. the bubble yeah that's because you know i skipped breakfast well champagne what? is my favorite breakfast well, pleasure let's talk you. about this refrigerated special room over here. is that where we keep the real good stuff so the fun thing about this is we did want to make the store obviously and thanks for the compliment just as cute as possible but it also has it also has to work right um and so this is our this is our cellar and uh it's simultaneously inviting but also we maintain around 50 degrees and 75 percent would it ruin things, things if we just pop this open so that Let's we can do it yeah you're gonna hear a little fan sound but um, okay but it's open to clients alike so oh it's open to clients. <laughs> oh it's chilly it's yeah, almost yeah. As, as chilly outside yes. i don't know if you guys know this but morris basically is in yeah, vermont morris is in vermont <laughs> We're both freezing this morning. I forgot my um, snowsuit. This is really incredible. This is very impressive. It's fun, too, because I think that our goal, you know, with the glass open and, and the have it be open to clients, it's, this is not pretentious. Yes, these bottles are special, mm -hmm. um, but there's a big range of price, you know, bottle cost. and Something for everyone. And also, don't let it be intimidating. That's what I like to say when right. it comes to wine. I think a lot of people do get a little nervous because if they're not super well-versed in the lingo or regions or anything like that, they can be like, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm just going to stick with right. what I know. Right. Don't be afraid to come in, ask questions, try something. And that's what you're all about. And that's what we are going to preview 
for next segment, well, we're going to go upstairs yeah. to the tasting room because you really want people to feel a part of the process, picking yeah. out what they like. And you're going to sit at the dining room table with me, and we'll just we'll have a little snack and Love a little it. more wine. <laughs> a little more, a, little more. a lot more. Thank you so much, Jacob. Guys, back to you. We'll see you soon. We're going upstairs. You know, Marcy, it's so funny that you never have technical difficulties on Wine Wednesday. <laughs> no, never. Not once. Not once.